Hello, hello, it's Joy Foster and I am live. It's uh, coming to you from Tech Pixie's headquarters where I've been on the phone all day uh, or Zoom. Z I think Zoom has now replaced the phone. Uh, I have been on Zoom all day answering questions for and from people who are wanting to know more about the Social Media Mastery Program and the differences between our VIP group coaching program and our uh, monthly membership. So I just wanted to put myself out here live and be here if anyone had any questions that they wanted to ask. Uh, I wanted to make sure I was here for you. Uh, my, I've been like this all day, like this and like this and like this. So I'll just run through. There's so many questions that I've been asked. So I'll just run through some of them. One of the common questions I'm getting right now has a lot to do with imposter syndrome. So I'm getting a lot of women on the calls because I literally have talked to like 15 people back to back today. And I'm getting questions like, well, if I'm already doing social media, is social media mastery going to be too easy for me? Is it too much for a beginner? And, you know, that's the real the reality is it's not it's not for it's not for advanced people. It's not for beginners only. We've designed it in a way so that you've got different levels. We've got the essential level, the expert level, and the mastery level, and then we've even got the pro level. So essentials, essentials, expert, mastery, pro. And that's the opportunity for you to, if you already know social media, to confirm how much you already know. You know, imposter syndrome is a real thing for a lot of people. And once you realize that you actually know what you know, uh, suddenly you're not so much of an imposter anymore. And so that's one of the common questions I'm getting. Well, if I already know how to use social media a little bit, is this going to be too easy for me? And the reality is I still go into our modules and learn something. And I've been in social media since 2008. And the other question I'm getting is, well, I'm a total beginner. I'm a total dinosaur. Well, how is this going to work for me? And the reality is we're that's what our specialty is. We Our specialty is getting those who are already social media managers or in social media management or doing social media to stop feeling like imposters but those who feel like tech dinosaurs the goal is to get you out of your tech dinosaur mode and into a social media superstar and i know because i worked with hundreds of women in our big vip group coaching program that social media is one of the fastest ways to improve your personal confidence and your digital confidence at the same time that's why we teach it that's why we teach both social media alongside life coaching because we know the benefits of both. So I want to say hello if you're joining us live. Thank you. Um, I'm Joy Foster, founder of Tech Fixies. Tell me in the comments where you're coming in from. I just thought I'd pop on and do a live Ask Me Anything Q&A uh, and I'd love to answer questions. I'd love to tell you stories of some of our alumni. I'd love to share some of the wins in our uh, community and how people are just making major progress. But I'd also like to just answer some questions if you have them. Uh, so that's why I'm here. So, so let me know if you're watching this. Let me know who you are, where you're coming in from. Uh, and uh, I, I, I'm not going to, I don't have anything to drink. I'm, I'm totally out. My water and tea are gone. I've been here in this office too long. But I do have chocolate, so I might sneak a chocolate. And did you know that today is Breast Cancer Awareness Day? Uh, I hope you have got some pink on and that you are wearing wearing that proudly and you've done a self-check. We uh, released a podcast today with one of our uh, VIP group coaching members, um, Suzanne, and it was about when she heard us uh, remind her to do the self-check, and that's when she did her self-check, and then she went into the doctor and found out that she had breast cancer, and it was actually the Tech Pixies community that helped her uh, as she worked through that. She had a, her small accountability group that was there for her every step of the way. So if you haven't listened to that podcast, you might really enjoy that. But this is your reminder, Breast Cancer Awareness today, Day today, so make sure you do your self-check. Now, if you'd like to know more about the Social Media uh, Mastery Program, I'm that's what I'm here for, and I can answer any of those questions. Um, I've been on the phone all day like this, you know, it's like Zoom and the phone. It's just I'm, I'm answering the phone, sending emails, uh, and I've had a lot of questions. So I already went through the first question, which was around imposter syndrome and around like, is this like, is this going to be too advanced for a beginner? And the reality is uh, it's been designed to solidify the knowledge of someone who's already in social media. And it's been, been designed to move someone through if they don't have that knowledge. So we work with both types of people. I always say if you are a tech dinosaur or a social media 
imposter, you are in the right place because we will get you to become a social media superstar either way. And we have some incredible superstars in our community. Uh, and I've been telling their stories all week. Um, and I, you know, I'm very proud of the community that we've built and the support that they give each other. So you may not know this, but the word sparkles uh, is our is our value set. So supportive, positive, authentic relationships with women who are keen to learn and want to be empowered. And that's we built that years and years ago with the very first group of Tech Pixies who not only graduated from the program, but helped build Tech Pixies. In fact, almost everyone who works at Tech Pixies uh, went through the Tech Pixies program. So Carla, who's our COO, she uh, runs the business side of Tech Pixies. She was a Tech Pixie. Uh, and also Pip, who's our head of curriculum and coaching, she was a Tech Pixie. So we have, uh, and all, most of our coaches are Tech Pixies. So we've had a really incredible, uh, you know, Tech Pixies has been built by Tech Pixies. This has not just been built by me, but people who've been in your shoes. So um, a couple of questions I've gotten is, okay, if I sign up for 47 pounds a month, is that like, how long do I have to pay that for? And you can cancel any time. We want you to want to be there. So if the program's not working for you, if the membership's not working for you, you can cancel at any time. What I think is going to happen is I think you're going to join it and you're going to love it and you are going to want to stay. I think that's what's going to happen. So I wouldn't be trying to figure out how quickly can I finish the curriculum so I can get out of there and stop making the payments. I think once you get in there, you're going to realize that the value of community is as important, if not more important than what you're learning. Um, there's some incredible collaborations that have been happening in our VIP group coaching program. And that's just time, time together, time, you know, shared learning experiences. And what we decided was that the membership should have a Facebook group. And we went back and forth, like, do we do it? Do we not do it? And just in case you're wondering, oh, Joy, you've never done anything self-study before. How do you know it's going to work? Well, we did trial a self-study program for three months with um, about 36 women. And it went really, really well. And they were there. They loved it so much. They, they kept emailing going, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose this. And I said, okay, well, we got this membership coming up just for you. So really, we started the idea of the self-study group because we had a group of people that were doing, they were trying to experiment with it to see if it would work. And they did a great job and they wanted to keep going. So that's why we said, okay, let's open up a membership that's a little bit more affordable than our VIP group coaching course. So one of the questions I'm getting a lot from people is, well, how do I know if I should be in the membership or if I should be in the VIP group coaching? And, and when I talk to people, you know, face to face, one on one, I can usually tell the answer to that. Uh, and it has a lot to do with where they are with their mindset. If someone has a lot of fear around social media and really needs a lot of support on the mindset side and the life coaching side uh, and really wants to a lot of hand holding, then, you know, the VIP group, the VIP group coaching is 100 percent the place to be because it's a full year's commitment. It's a full year of support. And there's, you know, we, we have three coaching calls a week. It's a little bit different in the membership because the membership is designed for people who are like, I don't need the handholding. I just want the curriculum and the community and I can carry on with, on my own. And I just want a little bit of coaching and support. So with the, with the social media um, mastery membership, what we have is a monthly group coaching call. And uh, you know, that's, quite different than a week, you know, three weekly coaching calls, but it's still really good. Um, it does mean that you get your answers, que your questions answered, that we will look at your stuff and give you feedback. Uh, and you do also get a Facebook community. Okay. So there's a Facebook community for both groups. Um, the membership group, when you finish uh, your membership or you cancel your membership, you lose access to the group. With the group coaching program, the VIP group coaching program, you're in that group for as long as the VIP group coaching exists. So we've had women in that group for five or six years um, or three years or two years. It's been an ongoing place for them and they've continued to connect with people over and over and over again. Uh, so that's another difference between them. I see we've got Kate Palferman in here and Teresa Young here. So Kate says, Tech Pixies award-winning social media training is a life changer, loving, lovely energy, learning, and fantastic people for all levels. Everyone helps everyone. That is so true. Whenever, that's also true. Um, so very genuine. Oh, thanks, Kate. 
And Teresa, it's great to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you're here. So at that point, I know we've got more people who've joined us since I started talking. So the first question I was answering was, um, you know, if I'm in social media already, I just feel a little bit like an imposter. How is this going to help me? Well, number one, it's going to give you CPD certification. Number two, you're going to know what you know, and you're going to find out what you don't know, which is great. The second question I had was around um, this concept of, well, what if I'm a tech dinosaur and I don't know anything uh, or I'm struggling completely on the digital side? Well, that's okay too. We've got you covered. The curriculum's designed to work for both types of people, all right? So that's very important for you to know. Uh, we have a lot of tech dinosaurs who are now social media superheroes and uh, they're, to they're flying and they're either doing social media for other people or they've launched a business off the back of their confidence with their digital skill set. Uh, Sean's here. Hi, Sean. She says, so lovely to hear this. Well, I'm really glad that it's lovely to hear. And I'm here to answer any questions you might have. Um, of course, the Social Media Mastery Program, uh, the doors close in about an hour and 19 minutes from right now. So depending on when you're watching this, it's going to, uh, it, it closes at 10 p.m. UK time. Um, so I just want to make sure everyone got their questions answered. Um, another question that I already covered was, what's the difference between the membership and the VIP group coaching co program? Membership is only 47 pounds a month. You can cancel anytime you want. The group coaching program is a 12-month program, and there's three coaching calls a week versus the membership where there's only one coaching call a month. Um, and for some people, that really suits them. I, I was speaking to someone today. She's like, there's no way I could do three coaching calls a week. I definitely could not do that. And I was like, well, then the membership is perfect for you. And then there were a lot of questions like, well, what if I want to upgrade later? And it's like, no problem. You just upgrade. You know, if you're in the membership and you want to go into the big VIP group coaching program, no problem. Okay. Um, Sean says, yes, I'm still struggling. Enjoy it. And I would welcome more advice and coaching. Yeah, more advice and coaching is always a good plan. And if your if, if if a student is ever struggling on our program, all they have to do is reach out to support at techpixies.com and we make sure that we get on a call with them and we understand where we can support them. So I think that's really, really important. Uh, so Debbie, here's Debbie. Is there an opportunity for alumni who aren't looking for training in social media but would like to access mindset coaching and possibly other aspects of digital marketing such as SEO and Google Analytics? Yes. So Debbie's one of our alumni. In fact, Debbie was in our very, very first cohort. So Debbie, if you email support at techfixies.com, they'll tell you about progression. And progression is the pro level. So like I said, we have the essentials level, the expert level, the mastery level, and the pro, and that's progression. And so once you've graduated, which Debbie has, then she can do the progression program. And progression is very much focused on neuro coaching and quarterly planning and weekly big three and all that good stuff. So Debbie, I hope that answers your question. Just email support and ask about progression. I think the next time progression opens is in January, but of course you're a, one of our alumni. We will, we will make an exception for you if that's something you really want to do now. Um, okay. Michelle says, I want to upskill my social media knowledge. I'm just a basic user of Insta and Facebook, and I had my own online shop via Shopify last year. Do you have a course I can do to make me a better place to work in social media so I can work from home? Thank you very much. Okay, that's a great question. Um, we, I spoke to someone today that said the exact same thing. She said, I want to be a VA and I want to work from home. And uh, she said, What's, what no social media networks do I need to learn? And is it possible to work from home? And I was like, well, you need to learn all of them because if you're a VA, you don't know which networks you're going to need to do for your clients, first and foremost. And then secondly, yes, you can work from home. I have been working from home for uh, a long time. <laughs> My children are 10 and 11, and I started working from home when I was pregnant with them, basically. So I have been working from home for 12 years, and, um, and I worked in social media for most of that. And now I teach social media um, and actually my coaches teach most of the social media. I teach most of the, the neuro coaching and, you know, that kind of stuff and more strategy stuff. But yes, 100 percent social media is a great career for, for working from home in this environment where everything went topsy turvy and you might be working from home for a long time. It's a great career to have because you can do it from anywhere in the world. That's one of the things I absolutely love about it. And I have. You know, I was in Colorado uh, last week with my family and I was still able to carry on working 
um, from my computer, you know, from wherever I was in the world at that time. So it's definitely one of the most flexible careers in terms of, um, you know, working flexibly and working online and working from home. Okay, Sophie says, this is totally what Tech Pixies does. Yes, it is. So if there's other questions, drop them in here. I'll, I'll just go through some of the other questions that came up. Um, so, so uh, a lot of people were asking about scholarships, like, oh, what happened to Tech Pixie scholarships? I thought you were a social enterprise. We are. We are a social enterprise. Um, we provide lots of scholarships. Uh, in fact, we provided so many scholarships last year that we went way over our quota. And we now have to raise more money in order to provide more scholarships. So what I have said to a lot of people who are really, really keen to get a scholarship is join the monthly membership. And then you're first in the line for scholarships because we know you're dedicated. We know you're committed. We know who you are. It's only 47 pounds a month and you're getting these great skills. And chances are, even with the 47 pound a month um, uh, monthly fee, you're going to be off universal credit and not even going to need the scholarship uh, in a couple months. So I think that's really important. Now, I can't guarantee that people are going to have a financial increase, but I know for a fact that women who have completed our program and gone all in have increased their income. I just interviewed two women the other day who, when they were working for themselves, were making less money, or sorry, when they were working for someone else, were making less money than they are now working for themselves. So they now, one of the gals I interviewed, Julia Heffer, she said she made more in the last six months than she did in the previous year at her other job. And I remember coaching her through her decision in the VIP group coaching program to, to like make that move, to start thinking about, well, I can do this. I can set up my own business, right? And I can, I can go it alone. And she's now very successful. And I also interviewed, you know, another woman, Anne Marie Mills, who like she, she's always, always wanted to, to, to have a voice in the space um, of weight loss. And, you know, that, that struggle of weight gain, weight loss, and just that, that place that people get into. She always wanted to speak into that and talk about her experience and help other people. And she really didn't know how she was going to do that. She decided to do a podcast. That's one of the things we talk about doing a podcast. She's had over 500 downloads of her first 10 episodes. And now she's thinking, oh my gosh, people are actually benefiting from what I have to say. They're buying her virtual coffees and sending them to her, right? That was one of the interviews I did. I interviewed another alumni of ours, um, Judy, who came into the program and she had no idea what she wanted to do. A huge bit of what we say to you is, what would you love? There's one question. If there's one question you ask yourself tonight, when, whether you join us or not, when you get in bed tonight, I want you to look up at the ceiling and I want you to think, what would I love? What would I love in my life? Because when we focus on what we would love, when we focus on a wanted, desired future, the things that we are wanting and desiring start to come our way. The ability to figure out how to get the things that we would love start coming our way. And if you're like me, and the first time that you think, what would I love? You go, I don't know what I would love. Then that's an exercise you really need to do a couple times and just keep asking yourself, what would I love? What would I love? What do I love? Right? And that's what I always say. If you don't know what you want to do, ask yourself, what would I love? And then as you start to get really clear on what you love, this is like being in a plane and you've got the clouds in front of you and you can't see the, the, the tropical island, but you know you're heading towards it. And eventually the clouds move and part and you can see the tropical island, right? And that's that's how I describe vision. When you don't know what you would love, it feels like you're, you've are you got clouded vision. And as you go clearer and clearer and clearer and closer and closer and closer to what you would love, you start to see the things that you that you start to get more clarity. You see a palm tree, you see, you know, the beach, you see the, you know, the pina colada, right? You see the things that you really want. Um, Sean says, thank you for my scholarship. I, I love it. And you're still accessing it through progression, which has been so beneficial. Yeah. And like I said, we are a social enterprise. We do provide scholarships for our VIP group program, but you have to show us that you are dedicated. And one of the best ways to do that is to do the 47 pound a month uh, social media mastery membership. We've never had a self-study membership before. And I'm very excited about it. We had a self-study program for the last three months where we trialed some students. That went really well. And so we're rolling that into a membership. And I'm very excited about that. 
Um, Kate says, I started with limited experience with social media, but Tech Pixies opens you up to whatever network you want to concentrate on. Plus selling online, selling courses, <laughs> social media management, building your connections, great networking within too. Oh yeah, and lots of book recommendations, right? I love that. Debbie Jenkins says, come and join us. It's such a fantastic community. There's so much to learn. You won't regret it. Oh, Debbie, I love it that you're here. Um, <laughs> and Sophie says she couldn't agree more. I love that. So if you're here now and you have a question and you'd like me to answer it, I would be more than happy to answer it. I was on the call earlier with someone who is in Spain and she has a house that she rents out and she wanted to know, will this work for me? And I said, yeah, it will work for you because we've got people in our program like Kaz Martin, who has a, a holiday let, who came into the program and she said, I've got this idea for this holiday let and I don't know how to get it off the ground. And now she's got it off the ground. And now she's, you know, she's got lots of people booking with her. And she's not only that, but she used her Canva skills to create an incredible brochure that she gives to people who come and stay because she wants to make sure they have the best experience ever. So yes, will it work for you if you have an Airbnb? Absolutely. We have a woman in London with a hotel. We have a woman in Jamaica with a hotel. Uh, we have people in um, with, with um, the Airbnb type lets. So will it work for that? Absolutely. Um, I said, I had people ask me like, will this work for products? And the answer to that is yes, it will work for products, right? It's not a product course, but it's a course about how to, and it's a, a program. It's not, a, you know, it's a course, but it's a program. You, you like go through the course, you unlock the modules, but does it work for products? Yes, of course it does. Cause you've got to learn how to market a product in the same way you've got to learn how to market a, a service. Now there's different tactics that you do, but you do have to be on social media. If you want to meet people you've never met before, um, you, you know, you do have to have a mailing list if you want to sell to people online, right? These are the steps that you've got to go into. And that's really, really, really important. So I think that's why it's, you know, that's why you've got to move that direction. You've got to think about what would I love? And then if you're going to go into products or services, you've got to think about, okay, well, I know I need social media to meet people I've never met before because there's no other way to meet people you've never met before right now, uh, you know, than there is on social media. It's like one of the most incredible ways. And I think it, we, we just proved during the lockdown that that was the only way you could meet new people. And I think that's the first step, you know, is not being afraid to put yourself out there. So a lot of people want to know, gosh, you know, I'm so scared of social media. I had someone on a call earlier today. She's like, I am like, I'm just scared to put myself out there. I'm just so fearful of like putting my face on social media, going live on social media. Do you help with that? And yeah, the answer to that is yes, we do. We have a life coaching toolkit that has, um, we've over the years, we've identified 12 areas in women's lives where they struggle, particularly when it comes to social media, uh, where they struggle with different things and uh, different feelings. So imposter syndrome, compare and despair, really, really big on Instagram. You've got, um, or sorry, imposter syndrome's on LinkedIn, but compare and despair, per perfectionism, uh, those things will come up as you're going through um, Instagram. So, you know, we look at the, we look at the things that get in the way of you succeeding and we give you tools to help you deal with those things and you have community support. You know that you're not alone. You know that there's other people on this journey with you and that you can get every question you have answered and you can get all the support in the world. And we have we have a no question left behind rule. It's really important to know that we have support for you fully, regardless of whether you're in the um, mastery membership or you're in the mastery VIP group coaching program. Like I said, the big difference between the two You've got way more coaching in the group coaching program. You'll have way more personal attention, like where someone looks at your stuff and you'll have a much more, much more guaranteed chance of getting a hot seat and getting coaching. Whereas in the mastery membership, you can, there's one call a month. So that's, you know, there's, there's one call a month is, is great, but not everyone's going to get everything looked at and everything answered on that call. Now we'll answer your call outside of that through our um, support system that we have in place. But it just means you have a better chance of getting a hot seat and you'll see more hot seats in the group coaching program. OK, uh, let's see. Kate says, <laughs> Kate, you're such a cheerleader. I love it. Such a happy environment to be in at Tech Pixies. Always support there, whatever the problem. 100 percent. 100 percent. I mean, like some of I, I had to send out an email to everyone to go like I'm a real person. Right. I talked to like 15 people today. 
face to face on Zoom. You know, we are real people and we really want your, you know, we want your success. Your success is our success. And it doesn't just end, uh, you know, because you finish your program. We have ongoing support with our progression program as well. But you have to be, you have to finish mastery. You have to be a master to become a pro, right? That's how that works. So that's why we've designed it that way. All right. I want to make sure that any other questions that haven't been answered get answered. I will definitely hang out here and answer more questions as they're coming on. Um, so I think one of the things, I think one thing I've seen come up a lot is, uh, you know, people are going, well, 47 pounds, does, it doesn't seem like a lot. Some people are saying 47 pounds doesn't seem like a lot. Am I really going to get value? And then there's another group of people that are going, I can't even afford 47 pounds. That feels like a lot. And here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that if you bring your confidence up personally and professionally with your skill set, you will put yourself in a great position to earn that money back. Can I guarantee you're going to earn it back? No. Have I seen so many success stories? Yes, I have seen so many success stories. And where I see the success stories is in all walks of life. I see it in women who are were on universal credit. I see it with women who haven't been working and um, they haven't needed to earn, but they didn't have the confidence to go back out and earn because that wasn't something that was on their radar. I have seen it work in both of those situations. But what I can tell you is with the membership, it's it's a commitment that's only as long as you want to stay committed. You can cancel at any time. The group coaching program, the VIP group coaching program, that's a, that's a year-long commitment. And we have some wonderful ladies who've already joined into our VIP group coaching program. I spoke to a gal this morning and she was like, nope, I'm all in. I'm 100% there. I can't wait to do it. I know I need to take this leap of faith. And so she's going to do that. And then I had somebody else who's like, I'm really tight for cash right now and I need to get through Christmas. And I said, that's fine. Start in the membership and then you can top up and move into the VIP group coaching course. Here's the thing, guys. If you decide you want to move into the group coaching course, we'll just credit you, right? So if you've been paying for the membership for a couple months and you're like, okay, I'm ready for the group coaching course, then you just pay the difference, okay? So we're really cool and very flexible at Tech Pixies. Uh, okay, Sophie says, I, Sophie's great. Sophie has helped me with our um, intro to our podcast. She created that for us, which I just absolutely love. Um, she says, Tech Pixies has really helped me overcome anxieties around social media. The community is so encouraging alongside all the learning. It's uh, helped me show up and be brave. I know, be brave, right, Sophie? Uh, and I and I know I'll continue to grow and build on this in the years to come. It's been a game changer in so many ways. Oh, I really love that. And I love the fact that there's so many tech fixes here. I was not expecting you guys to be here, and I really appreciate your support. But what I do know is I'm not paying these guys to be here. I'm not paying them to be here. They want to be here because they want to encourage you to make a journey, to make a decision that's a good decision for you. So, you know, I think that's so exciting. Now, can I also tell you, I was speaking to someone today, this incredible woman. She is a friend of, uh, I spoke to a lot of people who knew Tech Pixies. And I think what's interesting when you speak to someone who knows a Tech Pixie, they're like, I want what she's having. I don't know what she's got, but I want that. And what was happening is they were saying, I know this person and they're not the same person that I knew. They're somebody different. And I wanna understand how that person transformed. And I will tell you how they transformed. They transformed because at Tech Pixies, we focus on number one, activating your heart. What would you love? Number two, activating you. Take action, right? What am I going to do to move towards what I would love? And number three is deal with the mind, right? Deal with the mind. So activate the heart, activate you, take action and activate the mind. And the reason I say activate the mind is because so many people, they, they, they see a situation and then they go, oh, I have some automatic negative thoughts around that, right? I've got some, some ants. We like to call them ants. So let's say the, the, let's say the idea is I want to start a business. And then suddenly you're like, ooh, who's ever going to pay me for that business? Or, ooh, who's ever going to buy my stuff? Or am I good enough to start a business? Or I don't know anything about starting a business. Those are the ants, right? Or, you know, I want to go into social media management. Ooh, I don't know if I know what I've got, what it takes to be a social media manager. Ooh, I, I don't know how to do social media management, you know? So these are the ants that come creeping in. Those are your thoughts and they create emotions. And you might have an emotion of anxiety or you might have an emotion of 
fear and they come into your body and they when you do that over and over and over again it crystallizes into a belief and it's from that place of beliefs that you make your decisions and your decision is either to take action or to not take action and then you have a result that is a result of that action so if your fear is so great that it stops you from taking action then the results are you don't get what you want and that's what i that's what we try and fix that's what we do fix and for the people who do the work we fix it at tech pixies we do something called brain priming and it's not for everybody that's why i'm telling you about it now but brain priming is a way of reprogramming the neuro the subconscious neural pathways it's a way of fixing these long-standing thoughts that are holding you back from who you want to become, who you want to be. And it's in it's in working on that and finding evidence that what you believe is not true and you create a new thought pathway over a period of 67 days that you then become a totally different person. So when I was talking to people and they're like, I want what she's having, what is she having? That's what she's having. <laughs> she's having a brain prime. <laughs> She's doing a little bit of social media and on the side, a lot of personal development. And that is very much what Tech Pixies is all about. It is really about personal transformation. We want to see you become the person that you already are. You just haven't really leaned into that person fully, right? That's what it's all about. And that's what really matters to me. And that's what matters to the community. And uh, I've spoken to a lot of our new um, tech Pixies, and I just know that it's going to be a really exciting group of ladies that have come in. And so if any of you are watching tonight, I just want to shout, do a quick shout out to you because I think it's just so cool that you've already made the decision. For those of you who are still on the fence and trying to decide what to do, you've got um, until 10 p.m. So you've got one more hour. So first and foremost, um, I want to really acknowledge Kim and Fiona for going all in on our group coaching VIP program. I know that you are going to love it, love it, love it. And we are gonna learn so much and I cannot wait and to get to work with you. So if you're here tonight, I wanna say welcome. But I also wanna say welcome to Linda and I wanna say welcome to Esme and Ruth and Janet, Jane, hi Jane, if you're here, I see you. Jane's been on every single free training we've done, every single boot camp we've done. She even got a job in social media off our boot camp. And now she's all in on the membership, which I just love that so much. Um, Lisa is coming in as well. And we've got Elena and Michelle. Um, we've got um, Henrietta, who I'm really excited about Henrietta. I spoke with her today. She is, she's going to be a really fun tech pixie. Judith and Emma and Pam. And um, I see Jade. I'm so excited that you're all coming in. Okay, Michelle says, do I start with your course before joining your memberships or am I misunderstanding at all? <laughs> yeah, so there's an LOL for you. Okay, so the course is in the membership. So when you join the 47 pound a month Social Media Mastery membership, you get the self-study version of our VIP group coaching program. The main difference between the two is you don't get weekly group coaching, you get monthly group coaching. So in the VIP group coaching, you're going to have three coaching calls a week. And some people just cannot do that, right? It's not going to be possible for them to do three group coaching calls a week. But for other people, that's what they need. That's where they are right now. That's what they need. They need the handholding. They need the extra support. They want that really high commitment, full year on, you know, dedication. Like they, they know that's what they want. And for a lot of people, they're just not sure. So the 47 pound a month option is a great way to get started. It's the exact same curriculum, exact same curriculum. It's just a higher level of group coaching and uh, support because you can get onto a group coaching call and you can get a one on one with me, with Teresa, with our social media team. And we're not necessarily going to be able to do that as much in the group coaching because we only do one group coaching call a month versus three group coaching calls per week. And that's why the price difference is so high. So so Michelle, you you don't start with the course, you start with the membership, which is 47 a month, or the VIP group coaching, and you can switch from the membership to the group coaching if you want to, the VIP group coaching. But you can also start at the VIP group coaching. We definitely have some lovely ladies that I spoke to today. They, they will be moving into the VIP group coaching, but um, if you're in the membership, it's 47 pounds a month. 
And it's the same curriculum, just a lot less coaching. And we needed to create that because we had so many people interested in our program. They just weren't ready for the big 12 month commitment. Okay. Lucy, so Michelle, let me know if I've answered your question. All right, so Lucy says, apologies if this has been asked before. How many months at 47 pounds? So that's a great question, Lucy, and don't worry about it being answered before because a lot of people are asking that question. So 47 pounds a month is a membership. You can cancel it at any time. So if you join today, you have access until the end of November because the memberships um, stop that way. So you, you get access to the end of November, but if you want to carry on, you just keep paying and then you have that for as long as you want. Here's the deal. And this is what I've said to everyone who has asked me that question. If you in your head are going, how fast can I get through this curriculum so I can get out of the membership and stop paying the monthly fee? That's the wrong question to ask yourself because what you're going to find is that you've never been in a community like this. I can tell you, even for our self-paced students, you will never have been in a community like this. The support and the guidance that you will get, whether you're in the membership or whether you're in the group coaching program, they are really, really, really amazingly, it's an amazingly supportive environment. You've never been in like, and I say it, when I say that I've never been in an environment like this, I really mean it. I've been in a lot of Facebook groups, I've been on a lot of courses, and I've seen the way different groups run and the way that the vibe, you know, the vibration, the energy feels, and it's not the same. And so the, the thing is, you can stop anytime. You can cancel anytime with the membership. With the VIP group coaching program, that is a program. You are committed for a year. But with the membership, you can do it. And then if you're ready to go, you go. But here's what I think is going to happen. I think people are going to love it so much that that monthly fee is going to be a drop in the bucket compared to what A, they can earn as an individual and B, what they're going to want from a community standpoint. Okay, Lucy says, is this something that you will open later on in the year? I'm doing another course at the moment. I'm worried about overload. Yeah, I hear you on overload. So yeah, we will open it again. What I can't guarantee is that the founding member price will be there. Um, but since there's a few of you here, I can tell you, you know, if you're really not sure, there will probably be opportunities between now and Christmas. But again, I, you know, that opportunity might be 57 pounds a month instead of 47 pounds a month. Um, I will tell you that the membership is going up. Um, you'll be able to buy it anytime you want, but it's going to be 97 pounds a month. So, so tomorrow when you go to buy it, it's going to be 97 pounds a month. And then when we do a special offer or when we do a big, um, you know, a big event like we're doing right now, then you can get it at a reduced price, but it's only during those opportunities that you can. So Lucy, I would just make sure you're on the mailing list if you're really not sure. And if right now you're worried about overload and then when, you know, just keep an eye out for opportunities to come and join us. For those of you who are thinking, I really want to make social media my career. Let me tell you something. We have been discussing as a team how if you get in on the membership between now and Christmas, like now, so you've got November and December, you could probably work through the essentials and the expert um, training, and you could be in a really good position to do our social media management uh, certification, which is not included in the membership, but we are going to do a very special six week program for those who've finished the essentials and the expert and they want to do the social media management certificate. It's not included in the 47 a month because we, we provide group coaching. It's over a six week period and it's a lot of high level um, training. You get strategy in the membership, but this actual social media management certificate is optional for members. And it's something that you might want to opt into in January. So starting now means that if you want to become a social media manager, now's a good time to get started in the membership because that option will be available to you in January. Um, okay. And Michelle says, I started a life coaching diploma course. Yeah. And here's what, here's what I'll tell you. So the woman I spoke to today who went all in on the VIP group coaching course, she or group coaching program, the 12 month program. Here's what I said to her today. I said to her, you know, you are going to be in such a great position to be launching your social media while you're launching your business. So she's doing both like launching the business and launching social media. A lot of people think they need to wait until the business is launched to launch on social media. A lot of people think they need to wait until their life coaching diploma is finished before they start their social media. You want to be you want to be building up your audience before you're ready to even sell to your audience because it'll make selling to your audience a lot easier. And I'd like to replace the word audience with community because we really believe in community at Tech Pixies. So you want to build up the know, like, and trust factor 
with people before you offer them a program, a product, or a service. And that's, you know, that's a really good rule of marketing, you know, building up this no like, and trust factor. Well, one of the ways you can do that is taking people on the journey with you, right? Talking about getting your life coaching diploma, talking about the topics that you're learning about. You, and people then know when, when they're ready for a life coach, they've been watching you, they've been following you, they've been listening to you talk about the things you're learning. And, you know, also, guess what? When you're getting your life coaching diploma, you're going to need guinea pigs. And the best place to go get guinea pigs, the best place to go get people who want to try your services and, and try you out and, and give you your first 100 hours of coaching, they're going to be the people following you on social media, right? So the sooner you build up that audience and the sooner you start to find your voice, um, I'll tell you a great story. There's a student of ours, Maria, and when I first met her, she wanted to do women's empowerment. Like that was the thing she was passionate about, women's empowerment. And the longer that she started talking on Clubhouse and, you know, just started going out on social media, the more she realized, actually, she wants to empower women and men who are in codependent relationships. Um, and particularly around like they have dependencies like alcohol and other things. And she's an expert in that field. And so one of the things that she did was she's changed what she was doing. So she came on originally thinking, OK, I want to do women's empowerment. But actually, as she started talking, she started gaining an audience around codependency. And now she's got over a thousand followers uh, or a thousand people in her community on Clubhouse. And she's really been able to leverage that network to establish herself as, as an expert in that area. So the other thing that happens when you're going through life coaching is the biggest mistake you can make as a life coach is to just work with with anyone and everyone, right? I work with women who want a personal transformation. They want to go from being stuck to unstuck. They want to go from being a tech dinosaur to a social media superhero. I help people make that quantum leap. And that's what's important to me. But it took me a while to find my voice. It took me a while to find my way. And the best thing I did was just keep showing up on social, just keep asking, answering questions, just keep talking about things I was passionate about. And I found my way. It's like Anne Marie, when she came in, she didn't know what she was going to talk about. And she's had this uh, up until now, she's had this big um, life issue around weight. And it was in d diving deeper into that and understanding it and seeing where her mindset was that she was able to break through and go, hey, I know about this. I can help other people. And I can. there's a reality for me that's a reality for someone else. And that's when she launched her podcast. So by talking about the stuff, you actually get better and better and better at your messaging and you connect more and more and more with people. Um, so Andrea says, for everyone who's 12 months or up at the end of the year, do you have to join the membership tonight? Andrea, great question. So you are an alumni, so you have two options. You have the extension or you have progression. Uh, and you can email support at techpixies.com directly uh, to talk about the deadlines and things like that. The main reason why we wanted you to sign up today if you wanted to extend uh, and come back into the program is because it starts again on the 1st of November and we're all going off on half term next week. So we wanted to make sure we took care of you. So yeah, just email support at techpixies.com and we'll take care of you. Mandy Hughes is in the house. Hello, Mandy. Mandy's another one of our total social media superstars. Mandy, I'd love it for you to type some of your story into the chat if you want to, but uh, I interviewed Mandy. Mandy uh, comes from, she's just got married. She has a child who's got a lot of challenges physically. And she found her voice on social media as someone who could support other women in her position. Uh, she's also dyslexic and she's super creative. And so she's now found her voice as someone who encourages other people who have dyslexia to be creative, to put themselves out there. She loves video. She's really good at video. In fact, Mandy, I just saw you doing your talk. So congratulations on getting that talk. That's so, so cool. So, um, yeah, like Mandy just said, the course helped me find my voice. And I love that. And, you know, and she found her voice through video because Mandy, um, like me, is dyslexic. I mean, do you know what's so funny, you guys? I don't know if the person's watching right now, but someone was, someone emailed me and they said, I would never buy something from someone who had a typo on their sales page or their enrollment page. And I was like, oh, well, I'm dyslexic. So I just didn't see it. And my copywriter, I didn't ask her to read it. So it's actually my fault. But, you know, 
I'll tell you this right now. If everything has to be perfect, if the spelling has to be perfect, if everything has, you're, this is not the place to be. Tech Pixies is ever evolving. It's fluid. It's fluent. We answer questions. We listen to you. Uh, you know, there we wouldn't have even launched this membership if I didn't in if I didn't send out a survey to the 500 people who came to our first webinar on Monday. And I asked them a couple questions and they said, this is what they wanted. So we created what they wanted, right? This is what they wanted. They wanted this. We gave them this. And I am so excited about this. This is a blessing I was not expecting. Yeah, Mandy, Mandy says, that's me out if they want it perfect and done not perfect. Absolutely. So that's our motto at Tech Pixies, done not perfect. We are always about in, improving, 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 incremental improvements. And we do our best not to make spelling mistakes. We do our best to, to provide you with uh, the most up-to-date curriculum possible. I was laughing about that. That's another question that comes up a lot. Like um, there was a question about like how up-to-date is the curriculum? And it's like, well, we just rolled out the new curriculum like two weeks ago. And then they then Instagram decides it's going to pull IGTV. So now we got to redo it. But we do. We try and regularly redo it. We now have the team and the infrastructure to pay attention to the major changes and to adjust the curriculum accordingly. And not only that, but very often it's the tech pixies themselves who are like, hey, this happened and this happened. And you'll hear about it first in the group before you'll hear about it anywhere else because that because everyone's tuned in to what the changes are that are happening in social media. OK, so any other questions that you might have? I'm just looking through my inbox to see if there's any other ones um, and just make sure that I've got that. Uh, and oh, this is great. OK, cool. So I just am looking to see if there's any other questions that have come in through the inbox. I don't see any there. If you have any questions, drop them in below and I'm happy to answer them. Um, I think, you know, maybe before I wrap up, I'll just tell you my journey in social media and I'll just tell you my story and how I got where I am and what I'm doing now. And so those of you who don't know me and you're like, why would I give someone money that I don't know? Right. I want you to know I'm a real person. Uh, with a real life and real dreams. Now, I am American. I was originally born in Colorado. And I uh, I grew up in Colorado. And when I was 15 years old, I decided to take a leap of faith. And I moved to France on my own when I was 15 for a whole year. And I didn't speak French. And when I... Um, when I moved to France, I, you know, I left my family. I hadn't seen my family. I didn't see my family for eight months. Um, I didn't come home for 12 months. And that was the first like really courageous move that I made. Um, and it was a big one. And uh, I had done a tiny little trip to Russia when I was 13. So I had the confidence to go abroad. I loved being abroad. Um, but I didn't, you know, going away for a whole year was a big deal. And that was the first leap of faith I took. And when I came back from that trip, I was a totally different person. So every time you make a leap of faith, you are a totally different person than the person that you entered that leap of faith as. And so after I came back from France, I ended up going to school on the East Coast. Um, and so I've lived in New Hampshire and New York, uh, and I've studied in, in the schools there uh, at Skidmore College. Uh, and I will tell you that while I was at Skidmore, I spent a year abroad again. I went to London. And I was living in London and I met my, uh, I met a, a, I met a guy who um, is uh, now my husband, but we didn't get married right away. So this is where social media starts to play a part in my life. So um, I met him and then I, we, we dated for about 10 months and then we broke up and I moved back to the US and he stayed in England and we didn't see each other or speak to each other for seven years. And this is where social media starts to play a factor. So I lived at the Olympic Training Center. I was on the United States archery team. And one of the guys on the rowing team said to me, you should get onto Facebook. And I was like, I'm not doing that Facebook thing because I thought MySpace really, really sucked. Um, and anyway, so I was like, I'm not doing that, but I'll do the Facebook. I mean, I'll, I'll and I even said to him, I'm not going to do Facebook. And he said, no, no, really, I think you're going to like it. And so I got onto Facebook and I didn't really know what I was doing. This is back in like 2007. Now, side note here, can I just tell you, Mark Zuckerberg, who you know, love him or hate him. Mark Zuckerberg was at my high school. So he went to, to Exeter, which is where I went, Phillips Exeter Academy, New Hampshire. So we went, we went to the same school. I was just a couple years ahead of him. So the word Facebook comes from 
the school that we went to, we had a book of faces and it was face, it was pictures of the students. And we actually, and it was called the Facebook. It was actually called the Facebook. So when Mark went to Harvard, he just took the version of the Facebook that we had in high school and put it online. Okay. So there's a, there's my connection to Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg, it goes back a long time. So I don't know him personally, but we went to the same school. So um, the reason why this story is significant was I did not want to get onto Facebook, but my friend Sam said, get onto Facebook. You're going to be glad you did. So I got onto Facebook. I obviously didn't know what I was doing, but I did figure out how to use the direct messages. And when I was going to China to work at the Beijing Olympics in China, I took, uh, I, 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 mess I messaged my ex-boyfriend from seven years prior and I said, hey, I'm going to China for the Olympics for archery. You're going to China for the Olympics for rowing because my husband's an Olympic gold medalist. He's the, um, he was in Steve Redgrave's Sydney Olympic four that won the gold fifth gold medal in five Olympics. It was a big deal. So I said, you're going to be there because he was coaching the Swiss team and I'm going to be there. Let's go have a beer and let's let bygones be bygones. And so that was a direct message on Facebook. And so he never, ever checked social media, but he happened to check it that day. And he agreed to go have a beer with me, let bygones be bygones. And 10 days later in Beijing, China, we were engaged. And that was one of the very first times I leveraged social media for a quantum leap in my life. I went from being single and, well, I was sort of dating someone. I had to come back and tell him I was engaged to somebody else and break up with him. But I was, you know, I was not getting married. I was, you know, I was not leaving the U.S. I was not a very happy camper. And then I get to China and 10 days later, I'm engaged. I'm moving to Switzerland. Uh, and I and I sold everything I had and moved across the ocean. So that was the first time I leveraged social media in order to uh, have a quantum leap in my life. And what's a quantum leap? A quantum leap is when you're here and you go to here and there's nothing in between. You just leap. You just leap and it's there and you go. And that's what it was. I landed in China, not not engaged, and I left China engaged. And I moved. I flew back to the U.S. I had five days to sell everything get back on a plane and get back into Europe. And I've been here ever since. So I've been in Europe since 2008. So I was in Switzerland until 2014. And then I came here. So the second time I leveraged social media was when I was changing careers. So at this point, I knew how to use social media and I built an online community in Lucerne, Switzerland, where I lived. When I lived in Switzerland, no one, uh, none of the websites were in English. So 99% of all the communication was in German. And there were over 5,000 people in that area that spoke English. And I thought, I don't know. I don't know anything. And I don't speak German, which I eventually did learn how to speak German. But when I first got there, like, I didn't know what I needed to do if I got needed to get married, which I did. I didn't know where I needed to get, a, you know, a pediatrician or a dentist or a doctor. I didn't know where to get any of that stuff. So I, I a friend of mine said to me, I have this idea to help people moving to the area learn about the area on the English website. Let's create it. I just don't know how to do what I need to do. So I helped her with the website and it took off and it became a community center. Now, how did we grow the website? We grew it through social media. We created a private Facebook group. We answered every question everybody had. We created blog posts. We sent those out. We got sponsorship from the local government. We got sponsorship from the local grocery store. We got sponsorship from the local bank. And that's still going. That community is still going in 2021 that was set up in 2007. It's still going. And it's got a community center. It's got a biannual bilingual magazine. It's got events. Um, and it's amazing. And they're helping people every day, you know, connect with each other in the local community. So that was the second time I leveraged it. The third time I leveraged it was when I wanted to move to England. And I wanted to get a, I wanted a career change. Like I knew I was moving to England and I had to get a job. And I managed to get a job doing social media for a charity. And it was a great job. It paid really well. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I learned a ton. And I was able to seamlessly move from one country to another because I had this skill that was in demand. Um, and so that was the third time I leveraged social media. And then, of course, when I got confident with my skill set, I thought, OK, I can build websites for people and I can teach people how to use social media. So that's what I did. And I started doing that. And when I was when I when I first started in the website area, I was working with teenagers with long term unemployment issues. 
And I was also I was also speaking to a lot of business people and a lot of people I was speaking to in the business communities would say the men in particular, they'd say, oh, my wife needs this program. You know, she's been home raising the kids for eight years and she wants to go back to work. Can you help her? And I said, well, I could, but I don't really have a program for her. Uh, and then I had some moms of the teenagers go, I want this, like what you're doing for my child, I want you to do for me. And what I can tell you is working with young teenagers who had long term unemployment risk was long and hard. And it's and I and I applaud anyone who does it. However, when I was able to switch and work with women who already had success in their life, they just had a career break, we could see some major progress a lot faster. And that's what got really exciting for me. And we we did some amazing work with teenagers. And I'm so, so glad that I did that because I wouldn't be where I am now without that work. But I will say that's when I picked up the phone and I called someone and I said, I've got this idea to create a digital skills school for women in Oxford. And they said, guess what? We've got some funding. You should apply for it. And that is literally how Tech Pixie started. And I got some funding and I launched the very first program. And Debbie Clayton, who's here now, she was in that very first program and she's still here today, right? I just love that Debbie's here. And I love the fact that Debbie, I was talking about you earlier because I was, I remember talking to you on the phone in my car um, when I, you were asking me, should I do this program? And you were saying, I'm of a certain age. And I was like, yeah, you should do this program because no matter what age you're at, you're going to benefit from social media skills. No matter what age you're at, you're going to benefit from confidence. No matter what age you're at, you're going to benefit from putting yourself out there, from chasing your dreams, from getting super, super clear on what you would love. And that's what we do at Tech Pixies. But that's my journey of how, how I got to where I am. And, and over the years, I've made, I've, I've met some incredible women. I could tell you hundreds of stories of women who've come into our program, who've succeeded in our program, who've exceeded in our program. You know, we've got some incredible alumni who are doing incredible things. I mean, we've got a woman in our program who hated Instagram. Her name's Mikkel Khan. She hated Instagram when she joined Tech Pixies. She actually wrote that on her starter um, survey that she hated uh, Instagram. And then a couple of years later, guess what she's doing? She is an Instagram expert and she's just sold a course on Instagram engagement, right? So, you know, oftentimes it's not the, the, the software that you hate. There are some other things going on inside that have to do with putting yourself out there or, you know, doing live video. I mean, I was, I was teaching the other night uh, all about the secrets of social media. And one of the things I was talking about was the sunflower effect that every business, every service, uh, every business, every um, charity, they have a product or service. That's the stem of your flower, your sunflower. I've even got my whiteboard here and I, I could draw it out for you, but that's your stem. That's your, your product, your service is your stem. And then every week you need to put weekly seeds out there, right? This is your weekly content. This could be live video. It could be, um, it could be uh, a podcast. It could be a blog. It could be any one of those three things. And then you're putting that content out every single week. And how do you get that content out? Well, you get it out on your website. You get it out on your email. You get it out on your um, social media, right? But here's the thing that came up. I said to everybody, okay, which one of these different things would you like to learn? Which one of the seeds would you like to learn? Would you like to learn blogging? Would you like to learn video? Um, would you like to learn podcasting? And what people would say is they would say, well, I just want to learn how to do um, blogs because they think that blogging means I don't have to, uh, <laughs> I don't have to go live on video, right? I don't have to show myself up on video. And here's the deal. When I asked them, why did you pick blog? They all said, because they didn't want to go on video on social media. And I can tell you that is a block that holds a lot of people back because I can also tell you that social media is video right now and sound right now because it is the best way to connect with people all over the world. And so what I can tell you is if you are going to stick behind a blog and behind words and not come out and be a person on social media. And it's not saying you have to become an influencer. It's just saying you have to get comfortable with being live. You have to get comfortable with connecting with your audience, connecting with your community, that in doing that, you will solidify your messaging. You will connect with people you never thought you would connect with. Do you know, I got to interview some incredible people in our book club this year. I got to interview Holly Tucker. 
um, I got to, uh, I got, I mean, we got some big names coming up in the book club that we're, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're winding down the book club, but we got a few big names still to, to come. Um, Adrian Herbert, I got to interview her. She did the power hour. Uh, I got to uh, interview Jeff Walker, who wrote the book launch. I have met the most incredible people because I was willing to go and put myself online. Um, so I just, I just want to give you a little time check here. It's 9.30 p.m. UK time. There's only a half an hour to go uh, to joining Social Media Mastery. There's two options. There is the £47 a month membership. You can cancel at any time. Uh, and then there is the bigger VIP group coaching program. And if you're interested in either one of those, you've got 30 minutes to make a decision. The best place to go is uh, techpixies.com forward slash yes. And Celine, I see you. You just came in. You just joined. I'm so excited. Um, thank you for signing up. Thank you for trusting us. Uh, you know, the email that I sent out, I talked about um, one of my favorite verses in the Bible, which is um, this verse here, Hebrews 11, 1. And that is, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. My daughter gave that to me for as an anniversary gift. And I love that. And I look at it every single day because I believe in that so much. And I believe in you. And if you don't believe in you, believe in my belief in you. And I had a coach tell me that once. And that gave me so much confidence because I thought, okay, she believes in me, even if I don't believe in myself, right? And just know that our community wants you to succeed. Tech Pixies wants you to succeed. And, and we're here for you, no matter where you are, whether you are a social media imposter that wants to get certified so that you feel like a social media you know, hero, social media superstar, and you can start charging more, whether you are returning to work after a long career break. I mean, one of our, one of the stories I was just um, looking at the other day was Minnie had a very long career break, uh, almost two decades. And she's come back and now is a specialist in Instagram and Pinterest. She's flying, she's got clients, she's moving forwards with her business. And she's a totally different person than she was before. Um, there's people like Carolyn who came in as an interior designer wanting to know how she could get social media going for her career. And the crazy thing is she had all of these degrees in interior design but couldn't connect with people who wanted to work with her because no one knew who she was. And we made some changes to her website. We got her onto social media. And now she's got clients and she's got customers and she's networking and she's out there. And she has no fear of going live on social media. She has no fear of launching a product. She has no fear of creating, uh, you know, a fall guide to send out to her customers because she's got, she's, she's got no fear of technology. And when she came in, she wasn't sure how she was going to use social media. She wasn't sure how she was going to use technology to get potential customers. So um, I, on that note, I want to just say, if you have any more questions, I'm here to answer them. Um, oh, Allie's here. Allie says, go, go Joy. Michelle says, thanks so much. I have to go now. Totally understand. Um, so we will, yeah, we'll, we'll, don't worry. When you come back, we'll be here. Um, Mandy says, yes, to have confidence in what you're doing. And when you get the ants, the negative thoughts, the tech pixies can help you work through them. That has helped me the most in the mindset. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so I'm going to just stay here. If there's any more questions you've got, just drop them in the chat. Um, otherwise, we are uh, we are about to close the doors. We're going to close the doors in, well, 26 minutes because it's, it's um, 9.34. So you've got 26 minutes to make a decision. If you're still unsure, you're not sure, um, just you know, email us, support at techpixies.com. I'll be there to answer your questions for the next 26 minutes. Uh, and uh, and of course, if you're ready to go, techpixies.com forward slash yes. We've got two options, the monthly 47 pound a month membership, which you can cancel anytime. Same exact curriculum as our social media mastery VIP group coaching program. The main, main difference is the VIP group coaching program has three group coaching calls a week, whereas the uh, monthly um, membership only has one group coaching call per month, uh, but the content is the same. The certification is the same with the one exception of the social media management certificate, which you will have the option of being able to finish in order to do that. So um, Ali says, I'm still doing DCA and Tribe. Is this too much to do as well? Ali, I think you better email me at support at techpixies.com. We can have a chat because you're going to need social media in order to launch your course or your membership or both, right? So I know, 
I know where you're at. You may or may not need it. So just email me at support at techpixies.com and I'll talk you through it. But I think, um, I think Ali, you are, you're definitely a perfect fit for Tech Pixies, but I know what you mean by overwhelm. All right. So are there any other questions that anybody else has? Cause I need to open the door. I'm like sweating. I think it's just like really hot in here. I shut the door <laughs> and I need to go and answer any questions that come into support, but I just want to Say thank you for your time this evening. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you've been bombarded by a million emails from me, um, thank you for opening them all. Thank you for considering us. Uh, we welcome you with an open heart if this is something that you think you might want to take a leap of faith on. And just know that the best things in life uh, come from taking a leap of faith. And I hope you take a leap of faith on us. And I hope you have a great evening. And I'll be in the support inbox for the next 24 minutes in case anyone wants to ask me any questions. Speak to you later. Bye. Thanks for hanging out.